Hey guys, if you like this video, please check out my other ones in the description below. Don't forget to tickle that like button and subscribe for more. Record. All right. Gotta take that swig. Don't look at me while I drink. Sorry. <laughs> ah, getting comfy. What? I'm getting comfy. Oh, I thought you said give me humpy. It was like, <laughs> I was okay with it for a second, then I it processed and I was like, no, that's not okay. I was okay with it for a second, if that doesn't explain our relationship. Like... <laughs> hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back again to my channel, and today again we have Trevor. I'm just here. As always. Time. As always. Yeah. Except for when I'm not here. Exactly. So, um, today I thought I would share with Trevor, because he hasn't heard this, and with you guys, a story about how I almost died. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, and this isn't like honest clickbait or anything like that. Like it's 100% true, like... Yes, it is. <laughs> Shh. No, but, like, for seriousness. So, as we always do things, I'm gonna jump right into it. Um, so, Friday, which was literally a week ago, almost a week, say Saturday, isn't it? So, like, a week and a day, essentially? Eight days. Eight days. So, eight days ago, I was hanging out with a friend of mine, not me. Not him. And we were get going out of the mall. We had just gone shopping and we had planned on going to some other places that day. But we were walking out of the mall because for whatever reason they didn't have what we were looking for. And I took, like, I, I have allergies sometimes. It's, it's weird. Like some days I do, some days I don't. It just depends on the weather. And if for those of you who live in Wilmington, who know Wilmington weather, it's flip-flop. Mother Nature is just, yeah, right? No, North Carolina weather is like that. True. I used to live on the west side of the state where it's ten times worse than it is here, trust me. Exactly. Um, so, I was walking out and I took a sniff and I felt like something go down the back of my throat. And I was like, oh, that's weird, like, okay, it's probably just, like, saliva or, or whatever. So I get... <laughs> Exactly, phlegm. So I get in my car and I'm about to start it and then all of a sudden I feel something dripping down my nose. Or like, down my lip. And I go like this and I smear blood all over my mouth and I look at my hand and my whole hand is red. So I'm like, oh, okay. Keep in mind, I've never once in my life had a nosebleed, anything like consisting of like sinus stuff. The most that happens is I get pressure behind the eyes and that's it. So I'm like, okay, this is weird, like, I guess I'll just do what I've seen in the movies and I clenched my nose in the car for like 10 minutes and I'm like, okay, and I stuck um, a napkin that I had up my nose and I'm like, okay, it'll stop, no biggie. So that's around 4 in the afternoon, keep, keep that in mind, 4 in the afternoon. So. About an hour has passed and I'm driving now home and it's not stopping. And so I'm starting to get a little worried and I'm like, okay, well, I don't know what to do here. So I end up calling my dad. Now, I don't think I've talked about my parents much, at least on my channel. My dad is a orthopedic bone surgeon. And so I call him up and I'm like, yo, I have a nosebleed. I don't know what to do here. And he tells me the same stuff. He's like, hold it for 10 minutes. Um, how long has it been bleeding for? I'm like, it's been bleeding for about an hour. Like, it's not stopping. And he goes, okay, well, go back to the apartment and hold it for 15 minutes. And if it doesn't stop, call me. So I get back to the, uh, the apartment and I'm sitting like in the tub at this point, just bleeding out my nose. And so, like, an hour goes by, and I'm still holding it, like, hoping that it'll stop, and it doesn't stop. So I call my dad, I'm like, yo, it's not stopping. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going on? And keep in mind, it's like 6, 6.30ish. And he goes, okay, just come meet me at, at the house, and I'll take a look at it. So I go over to the house, and he gets back, he gets off work, I think, and he comes over and he visits me. 
and he takes like tampons and napkins and he sprays Afrin on it and for those of you who don't know what Afrin is, it's a decongestant <clears throat> so it helps um, shrink your, po uh, not pores, but you mean any histamine? Yeah. yeah. So it helps shrink everything and so we're thinking that maybe if we sprayed it on like a nose clog and put it up my nose it would stop the bleeding. And I'm holding my nose and again another 30-45 minutes goes by it's like 7:30 ish and it's still not stopping and I'm holding my nose as I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I start crying and it's not because it hurt it didn't hurt it was just the whole sinus thing like with all the sinuses getting all effed up in my head like I just started crying and I'm looking at myself in the mirror and then all of a sudden I see blood start coming out of my eyes. Like I legitimately start crying blood. That was the scariest crap I've ever witnessed in my life. I saw blood come out of my eye and I immediately thought, oh God, I'm going to die. Like this is it for me. I don't know what's wrong. I'm going to die. So I start freaking out which gets my blood rate pumping more. and. Ergo, more blood is coming out of my nose. And what's even gross about this whole experience is that at that time, I start coughing up blood because I had swallowed so much because the um, where it was bleeding, it was far back. So it was dripping down my throat and I could feel it like going into my stomach. And so when I started crying blood, I immediately started coughing up and throwing up blood as well because I couldn't breathe. And so, like, was your, was your dad there to witness all this? Yeah, my dad's there to witness all this, and he goes, <laughs> so he's walking in and out of the room to check up on me and as I'm puking, and the grossest part was that, if you guys have ever seen this video that I'm talking about, you'll know how gross it is, but it's a video of this guy takes snake venom, and he puts it, the snake venom, in a cup of blood, and the cup of blood becomes like this jello -y round thing. I'll put a link in the description if I can find it. But that was happening and it was falling down into my throat and I was coughing it up like these jello blood clots up. And so my heart rate gets pumping even faster because I feel like I'm about to die. I mean, I don't know what's happening. I'm crying blood. This is the first nosebleed I've ever had in my life. And it's like not stopping. It's 8 o'clock now. I've been bleeding since 4 in the afternoon. So as soon as I start crying blood, I call my dad I'm into the room and I'm like, dude, what's happening? I'm crying blood. My dad's like, bruh. My dad's like, oh. So he walks out and <laughs> keep in mind, I my friend that's with me at this time is like waiting patiently in the other room. Who and my dad, who was it? it was Taylor. Oh. And my dad, my dad is like, yeah, so he walks out into the room where, where my mom and Taylor are sitting. He goes, yeah, so we're going to have to go to the ER. And my, mom, and my mom's like, why? And he goes, he's crying blood. And he turns around and walks out the room like stone face, <laughs> leaving, leaving Taylor and my mom like, what? So. <laughs> I can so see him doing that. Too. Exactly. Because. Again, I don't talk about him much, but he's very much like a strong, silent type. But like, if you're around him enough, he kind of opens up, and he's really funny. He has like a dry sense of humor. Like, like imagine Andrew, but like in his fifties, <laughs> and that's his dad, sort es of. Essentially. So, anyways, it's about eight o'clock right now, and we're heading. I, they get me in a car with a bucket, and I'm, <laughs> I'm like bleeding into a bucket. I'm starting to get lightheaded because I've lost so much blood already that it's just like, I'm just letting it flow at this point into a bucket. And my dad's like, yo, I have a friend of mine who's an ears, nose, and mouth doctor. Let me call him up and see what we should do. So he calls up his friend, thank God. And his friend's like, yeah, I'm not doing anything right now. I'm just hanging out with my, my family. If you really need it, um, come meet me at my work. and." I'll take a look at it. <laughs> so my dad's like, okay, great. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Let's not go to the ER because that'll take like four hours and before they expensive. can see you. Yeah, and it's super expensive. So the only issue there is we're in Wilmington. His place is like in Brunswick. <laughs> That's 45 minutes away. <laughs> I've been bleeding since four. It's eight o'clock right now. 
So I'm like, okay, you know what? What's 45 more minutes? Let's just do it. <laughs> So we get in the car and we start driving over. I'm bleeding into a bucket with like rags and like tampons stuffed up my nose. It wouldn't stop bleeding. Was Taylor still there? No, she okay. left like <laughs> <laughs> she left like like an hour and a half after like hour and a half of her staying at my house for like waiting to see if I was okay. <laughs> and um, so I'm bleeding into a bucket and as we're driving 45 minutes out to see this ears, nose, and mouth doctor. I finally get there and the guy's like. So how's it going? And I'm like, you know, just casually bleeding into a bucket. But I look at the bucket, and the bucket's like, maybe like that big around, and it's like, it's shallow bucket, but like the bucket was filled up that much with blood. And for those of you who can't see, that's like maybe half an inch. So that's a lot of blood. <laughs> um, so I'm like, you know, just casually bleeding out. And he takes a look at my nose, and he stuffs like some, um, numbing stuff up my nose and he sprays it and it's kind of like if you, any of, again if any of you have tried Afrin you, it's essentially the same thing but it's numbing it's like a numbing product and he takes like this scope that's this long and stuffs the entire thing into my nose <laughs> the entire thing this thing is like 12 inches I fucking deep throated that shit through my nose okay and I'm still bleeding at this point like and then he takes a sucker and he sucks up like those blood clots I was telling you that I was coughing out that were like that big, those jello blood clots, he, he sucked it out of my nose and it like, if you've ever pulled hair out of your nose and you know that feeling where your eyes kind of get watery and they roll up in the back, like it was one of those feelings, I'm like, oh, oh, oh. So, Just like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> so at this point I'm still freaking out because I was crying blood. I've lost so much blood already. I've been bleeding since four. That's five hours now. It's nine o'clock. And he takes, he's like, okay, I got this. So he takes a wooden, like, like a wooden match or not, not a match, but it's like a, a little piece of wood that had like nitrous phosphate or something on it. Some kind of cauterizing wound thing. And he sticks it on my nose, like in the spot and cauterizes where I was bleeding. Both spots. There were two spots. There was one that was like right here and the other one on the other side. But like 9.20ish, I finally stopped bleeding. I'm like lighthearted. I just want to go home and sleep because like my sinuses are all effed up at this point. There's so much pressure behind my eyes. I've been bleeding for five hours. I was just done with the day. And I'm like, out of everything that could have happened today, out of everything, a freak nosebleed that wouldn't stop bleeding happens. And I end up going to like the ER. I, get, I don't even know what you call his office. I would assume it's the ER, but like, I don't, ears, nose, and mouth office, but it doesn't sound as good. <laughs> so yeah, that was my story of how I almost died. So. I don't know how much I chalked that up to almost dying, but I mean. <laughs> I mean, I lost a lot of blood. I yeah, yeah. Very much could have. Mm. So, I'm alive and well. Are you happy? Not really. But. <laughs> Ouch, dick. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed the story. Um, I went through a lot last weekend. <laughs> um, yeah. And on that note, guys. 2017, everybody. <laughs> happy New Year. 2017. Happy New Year. And on that note, guys, may the stars be with you, my friends. Bye. Hey, how's it going, guys? I hope you liked that video. And if you did, feel free to check out some of my other challenge videos I've done with some of my friends. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.